The Master and the Mental Body by D. N. Dunlop, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is taken from D. N. Dunlop's editorial comment in the June 1913 edition of The Path magazine, of which he was editor. The Path was a magazine of the Adyar based Theosophical Society, published in London. The Master and the Mental Body the master has built for himself a mental body in which he can live in thought in a distinctive form. He is a master of life and shapes the ideals of life by his thought. By the power of thought he controls desire and may live free from his psychic and physical bodies and use both as he wills. He is not deceived by the images in the reflecting ether of the astral or psychic world but is interested in the realities behind the reflected images. He uses the earth's words more than audible words and exercises his power so that all merges towards the presentation of the unspoken meanings of the earth, toward him who sings the songs of the truths of the body and of the earth, toward him who makes the dictionaries of words that print cannot touch. He views all according to the amplitude of the earth and appears when the materials are all prepared and ready, enclosing all, faithful to all. He has balanced the sex nature of the physical body, knowing the perfect fitness and equanimity of things. <laughs>